Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a frog life cycle worksheet. So if you have this, go grab it. We're also going to be doing a match and color activity. So go grab those. And to help us complete our worksheet, if you have your A Frog's Life book that we made on Zoom together, go grab this. This is gonna help us. And you'll also need crayons, pair of scissors, and a glue stick. Does everyone have everything? Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna tilt my camera down a little bit so you can see my table. Okay, so the directions say a frog life cycle. Color, cut, and glue the pictures in order. So let's see, we need to figure out what happens first in the frog life cycle, what happens second, what happens third, and what happens fourth. And let's look at our pictures at the bottom. How many pictures are at the bottom of my worksheet? Who can tell me? Let's count. One, two, three, four. That's right, let me see four fingers. Good job, there are four pictures. And let's name them, let's label them. The first picture is a picture of a tadpole, that's right. And what did we say a tadpole looks like? You're right, it looks like a fish. What's the second picture of? Eggs, that's right. And looking closely, what shape are those eggs? Yes, they are circles. What is the third picture of? A frog, good. And the fourth picture? A froglet, that's right. And who remembers what a froglet is? Good remembering. It's a tadpole that grew front legs, back legs, and has a little tail. So before we color, we are going to cut out the pictures. And what you boys and girls can do or have your mommies do, you're going to draw a yellow line down the middle so we know where to cut. So go ahead and do that first. Okay, so it should look like this. And now I'm going to outline in yellow the boxes and that will help me know where to cut. Okay, this is what it should look like when you're done outlining it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out my four pictures. I'm going to stay on that line. Remember, thumbs up when you're cutting. So I'm cutting out my tadpole, the eggs, the frog and the froglet. So you should have four pictures when you're done. Okay, is everyone done cutting? Great job. So let's see, what do we think happens first? Before a frog is born, what do you think a frog comes from? If you're having a hard time remembering, you can take your book and turn to the first page and that will give you a clue. That's right, what are those? They are eggs, that's right, eggs. And where should we glue the picture of the eggs? Which box, who can yell it out and tell me? In box one, in box two, in box three, or box four? Where should the picture of the eggs go? In box one, because that's what happens first. Okay, so first we have the picture of the eggs. And what color should we make the eggs? Who remembers? Here's a clue. That's right, yellow. So I'm going to grab my yellow crayon 
and I'm going to color all the eggs yellow. Okay, just like this. Okay, let's see. I wonder what happens next. What happens second in box number two? Let's see. Does a frog come out of those eggs? Does a tadpole come out of those eggs? Or does a froglet? What do you think comes out of those eggs? If you need a clue, we can turn to page two in our book that we made on Zoom. That will give us a clue. Yes, that's right. Or if you have this worksheet, if you printed this one out, this one has a little clue at the top. See, there were a picture of the eggs and now it's showing you a picture of a tadpole, that's right. So let's see, is my tadpole the picture on the left, the picture in the middle, or the picture on the right? Who can tell me? It's the picture in the middle, good job. So where should I glue the tadpole? Which box? Excellent, in box number two. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the back of my picture. Just a little dot and glue it on. And what color should I make the tadpole? Who remembers? They're a little green, a little brown. I'm going to make my tadpoles brown. Okay, so first there are eggs. And out of the eggs hatches a tadpole. And we said it looks kind of like a fish. They swim around the pond. I wonder what happens third. Let's see, let's look at our pictures. After it's a tadpole, does it become a frog right away? Or does something happen? Does it start to grow something? That's right, it becomes a froglet. It starts to grow front legs back legs, and the tail starts to get shorter. So where should I glue the picture of the froglet? Who can tell me? Yes, in box number three. Good answering. And I'm going to color my froglet. Let's see. Let's look back, this is on page four. Let's see, what color did I make them? Yes, I made them green, that's right. Page four and five show the froglets. And we're going to color them green. So go ahead and take out your green crayon. And sometimes the froglets are a little brown, so if you want to take your brown crayon and add brown, that's okay too. Okay, so first we have the eggs. Out of the eggs hatches a tadpole. Then the tadpole starts to become a froglet. It grows front legs and back legs, and the tail starts to become shorter. What happens fourth or last? it becomes a frog, right? An adult frog. And what do you notice about this frog? What's different from the frog and the froglet? It has no tail, thumbs up. So we're going to glue the frog in box number four. This happened last. And what color is an adult frog? Let's see, if you don't remember, you can turn to page six in your book. Here's a clue. They are green, that's right. So I'm going to color my frog green. Okay. So here's the life cycle of a frog. And we said that frogs go through 
metamorphosis, they change. So first, a frog lays eggs. Out of the eggs hatches a tadpole. The tadpole starts to grow legs and the tail becomes short. This is a froglet. And last, it becomes a frog and the tail disappears. Make sure you write your name at the top, right? Always practice writing your name. I'm going to go ahead and write mine. Excellent job, boys and girls. Thumbs up for helping me. Now we're going to get ready and we're going to do our matching worksheet. So keep your crayons out or if you have a marker, you can use a marker. I'm going to use my pink marker. And we're going to start with this page first. So the directions say to match and color. So we have to match the pictures on the left to the pictures on the right. So let's write our name at the top. We'll do that first. Remember, we start your letters at the top. Good remembering. Okay, now let's see. These are all pictures of stages that the frogs go through, right? During their life cycle, during their changes called metamorphosis. So the first picture on the left is, who can tell me? A picture of eggs, that's right. And we need to find the matching picture on the right side. So if I wanna draw a line, which picture matches? Am I drawing a line to this picture? No. Am I drawing a, pic a line down to the picture at the bottom? No, who can tell me? Use those words. Which picture matches the eggs on the right side? The picture at the top, the picture in the middle, or the picture at the bottom? Good, the picture in the middle. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line from the eggs on the left to the eggs on the right. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to look at the picture on the middle, in the middle on the left. And what is this a picture of boys and girls? That's right, a froglet, because it still has a little tail. Now we need to find the matching picture on the right side. So which picture matches the froglet? The picture at the top, the picture in the middle, or the picture at the bottom? Good job, if you said the picture at the bottom, you're right. So I'm going to take my marker and draw a line from the froglet on the left to the froglet on the right. Okay, and let's see, the last picture at the bottom on the left is a tadpole, that's right. So who can help me? We need to find the tadpoles match on the right side. So is it the picture at the top, the picture in the middle, or the picture at the bottom? Good answer, it's the picture at the top. So I'm going to draw a line from the tadpole on the left side all the way to the tadpole at the top on the right. And now we need to give our pictures some detail, right? Because they're all white. So let's color them in. First, we're going to color the picture of the eggs. And we said the eggs were yellow. So grab that yellow crayon and color them in. Do your best to stay in the lines. So I'm coloring the eggs on the left and the eggs on the right. So we have two pictures of eggs. Okay. Let's see, now we're going to color the picture in the middle, which was a froglet. And we're going to color the froglet. If you need help, you can look back. 
green and a little brown. And a little brown. And again, the froglet on the right side at the bottom. There are two froglets. Okay. What is the last picture that we have to color? Which picture is last? That's right, the tadpole at the bottom. And what color should we make the tadpole? If you need a clue, look back at your life cycle project we just did. Find the tadpole. It's in box number two and it's the color brown. Good answer. So I have my brown crayon. And we have two tadpoles again that we have to color. Thumbs up boys and girls. Do you think that you can help me do the second match worksheet? You did such a great job helping me with the first matching worksheet. Let's try to do the second one. I'm gonna write my name at the top. Always starting your letters at the top. Now, if you look closely, these are all pictures of what? Tadpoles, that's right, they're all tadpoles. And it's showing you the changes that the tadpole goes through. So we're going to start with the first picture on the top left. And this tadpole started to grow his back legs. So now we need to find the tadpole on the right that's also growing his back legs. Is it the tadpole, is it the picture at the top, the picture in the middle, or the picture at the bottom? Good, it's the picture in the middle. So I'm going to take my marker and draw a line. Now we're looking at the picture in the middle on the left. This tadpole just came out of the egg. He has no legs. So now we need to find the matching picture on the right side. Is it the picture at the top, the picture in the middle, or the picture at the bottom? Who can tell me? We need to find the tadpole with no legs. Good, it's the picture at the bottom. So I'm going to draw a line. Okay, and the last picture on the left is a tadpole that's now becoming a froglet. It started to grow back legs and now front legs. So we need to find the froglet or the tadpole that now grew front legs. Is it the picture at the top, the picture in the middle, or the picture at the bottom? That's right, it's the picture at the top. You can see his front legs and his back legs. They are the same. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm gonna draw a line all the way up. And now we need to give our picture some detail and our froglets. Let's see, we'll start with the tadpole. The tadpole is brown. So I'm going to go ahead and color my tadpoles brown.
And where do those tadpoles like to swim? In the water, that's right. So we have two sets of tadpoles. We have one set here, and our second set is this tadpole in the middle and this tadpole at the bottom. So they're all brown. Last is our froglet all the way at the bottom. And he is going to be, look back at our worksheet, green and brown. I am so impressed with you boys and girls. This was pretty tricky and you did a great job helping me figure out the life cycle of a frog and helping me match all the frog pictures and all the tadpole pictures. Thumbs up, thank you for watching and for helping me. I'll see you soon, enjoy your day.